Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So as you understand, this review is about Dr. Ambedkar Institute of Technology, Dr. AIT College, which is Bangalore. And this is one of the decent options available in Bangalore. And this college is now an autonomous institute affiliated to VTU. So that is a good news. And it's approved by ASCT. And location-wise, it is located on Outer Ring Road near Gyan Bharti, second stage, Nagar Bhavi, Bangalore, right? So that is the complete college address. So it's a quite old and established college. It started in 1980. So this college has already start, um, given 40 plus batches. And uh, it is, uh, as I mentioned, affiliated to you know, VTU. And currently it is a NAC A plus grade institute. So in the past, it has also got the NIRF ranking. So around 19 or 20, it got the 163 ranking. So, so this is overall. It's uh, approved by UGC, UGC and uh, it's a NAC A plus institution. And this college is also an aided college. So there are two courses under KCET. One is aided, which is E004, where fees is very less. And the second is non-aided or the private, which is E60 and the fees little higher for this course. But both are under KCET. Now they have the third code, which is E42, which is for the Comet K admission process. So I will talk about the fee structure for each of these courses later in this video. Before that, what are the courses which are available? So you have a good options in artificial intelligence and machine learning, AIBS. You have computer science and business system, CSBS course. You have information science engineering, ISC. Computer Science Engineering CSC. So you have got four options from the CSC or CSC specialization branches. Then you have Civil, Mechanical, Triple E, which is Electrical Electronics, ECE, Industrial Engineering Management, Electronics and Instrumentation, Electronics and Telecommunications. And the last one is the Aeronautical Engineering. So almost like 10 to 12 branches are there. Now talking about the you know, fees through different modes of admission. So first is this through the CET quota, right, for the BE course. But this is last year's fees, 24-25. And you can expect around 8 to 10% increase in this fees in this year, right? So first I will start, start with the aided course. So they have aided course with the code E004. You can see here. So all the four line items are related with aided course where the fee structure is lower. So aided and KEA 004 E60 for SCST students, fees to be paid in KEA during counseling 750 rupees plus 39,590 needs to be paid to the college. So for all the SCST students in the aided course, they will only pay 40,000. Now aided course for GM and OBC, the second line item. For the fees paid uh, during KEA, KEA counseling will be 42,866. And when they reach college, they have to pay 18,390. Total fees will be 61,256 for the GM and OBC under the aided category. Now coming the category one student. Again, this is for aided course only. The E004, 21,360 category one students will pay at the counseling time. And then when they reach college, they will pay 39,896. So total fees for category one students will be 61,256 per year. And the fourth line item you see for the SNQ quota, which is supernumerary quota. So for SNQ students also, KEA E004 code 21360 in the KEA during the counseling. When they reach college, they have to pay 18,980. Total amount will be 40,340. Now let's talk about the unaided or the private engineering college. So most of the students in this way will be for the unaided. So line number six, you can see KEA uh, E60 code, right? That is the GM and OBC students will have to pay 1,07,495 during counseling. And when they reach college, college fees will be 8,390. 1,15,885. This is last year's. So you believe 10% increase could be there and it could be around 1 lakh. 26,000. Category 1 students for the same code, which is unaided course, E60, 85,000 during the counseling time, 29,896 in the college. Total, they will also pay 1,15,000. And unaided, which is SNQ quota in the unaided KEA E60, right? You can see approximately 31,360, right? So plus 8,980, total will be 40,000. 340 for the SNQ students. So those are the last year's fees. You can increase 
it by 10% for this year and also that non-Karnataka students shall pay 3000 rupees extra towards the VTU eligibility fees, right? So that is the important thing. Now talking about the comedy case. So this is for the comedy case, all India students. Again, this is last year's fees. You can expect 10% increase in this fees approximately. Tuition fee last year for comedy case students were 2,61,000. 477 there was student activity fee of 21000 vtu fees of 10000 other fees of 5000 sorry 590 placement fees of 2000 skill lab fees 5000 and the college development fees was zero you can see last year the total fees was 31067 so you can expect 8 to 10% increase over this out of 3 lakh rupees 2 lakh 81 you have to give it during the comedy cake round uh, uh, seat allotment and uh, to the comedy cake authority but once you reach the college there you have to give 19,590 so again this is the last year's breakup and 10 percent increase in the fees can be easily expected and also there will be 25 percent of the seats which will be through management quota fee structure they are not given the management quota fees details but you can contact on this mobile number and email to get more details now talking about the highest salary and the highest stipend so morgan stanley was that company which offered the highest internship which was eighty seven thousand rupees per month and the placement also they offered the highest placement of 29.48 lakhs which is approximately 30 lakhs which is quite decent in this bad market so if you see the statistics for last uh, five years you see from 2021 batch where 49 companies visited in the starting of 2021 400 students got placed 417 10 lakhs was the highest salary in 2022 it became better with 800 students got placed around and 825 lakhs became the highest salary in 2023 batch you know 65 companies visited 623 students placed and 10 lakhs was the highest CTC in 2024 were the best year you can see in that one 555 students got placed 29.48 lakhs was the highest salary and 25 batch which is the ongoing placement data available till February 250 students were placed 19.75 lakhs was the highest salary so this would go up to 500 to 600 students you can expect in this year also now talking about the NIRF data so that you are can understand the median salaries which are there. So if you see 2022 batch 894 students were eligible out of which 665 got placed in the engineering side and 6 lakhs was the median salary for 2023 batch the placement little bit improved and out of 710 students eligible 680 got placed which is also very good in the tough market median salary became 5 lakhs in 2024 batch 813 students were eligible out of which 577 got placed close to 600 but the median salary were very low because of the tough year 4.5 lakhs was the median salary so that is the overall performance for last three years thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel to get similar updates take care and bye